Hi, welcome to an Easy Trader Update. This is Kim Watson speaking on Thursday, the 23rd of May. In this update, I just wanted to demonstrate how Ben Bernanke managed to move the markets. But by the time he'd finished, or shortly after he'd finished his speech, they'd actually resorted back to trend. Uh, now, this is a good example of how news, in this case Bernanke's uh, testimony to Congress on the state of the US economy, can affect the Forex markets and particularly how you should pay attention to the type of news that you're actually watching or listening to or waiting for. Now, I've been studying news events for some years as they can, uh, they can give us some really, really good trades uh, and they also can tend to shape the currency for uh, the trend for some days ahead. Uh, subject to the waiting. For example, if we get an AD, um, ADP, the ADP for non-farm payrolls is probably not the one I wanted, but non-farm uh, payrolls come out in a particular way, but more importantly, the GDP figures come out, or an FOMC testimony like what we've seen here today. If they do actually uh, have anything key in them, they can really change, if they're different to the actual trend, can actually change things around somewhat. So getting back to Bernanke's testimony today, why did the currencies resort to trend? Well, the speech was pretty empty of substance. To say the devil's in the detail, he failed to announce any tapering of quantitative easing as such, which are expected by many. But, what he, but then he did say he could start tapering, or indeed they could actually uh, start easing some more over the next uh, few meetings, subject to economic data. So in other words, he said they'll, they'll, they'll support the US dollar, whatever. Uh, is, 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 the, is the key message that's back still there. So what does it mean going forward? Well, I think more weighting will actually be put on each of the US results now. Any any growth results coming out, even more weighting, uh, weighting as in importance, uh, would be played on them. So we could end up with any sort of similar holding patterns prior to the news coming out, followed by more volatility when the news comes out, and potentially good trade. So understanding how to trade it obviously makes a lot more sense. Now, for those traders that have been around for a few years, um, you, you, this, this, what we're seeing here really is is going back to the norm. Um, from where, when bad news comes out from the US dollar, it may actually fall now, as opposed to and where's good news, it, it, it obviously rises. Uh, what we witnessed during the economic meltdown is when the good news uh, came out, of course, the dollar rose. But when the bad news came out, the dollar also rose. So it was as as money was going to the safety of U.S. bonds. So now we we sh should hopefully, and we we seem to be having I've noticed in the last couple, few months, bad news is creating dollar weakness. Good news for the dollar is dollar strength. So it's it's, it's becoming easier to trade again. What I want to just run through here is a couple of news, some news events that happened here, and of course, what, yeah, showing you how it just went back to the average or back to the norm. Uh, we had a couple of news events out today, uh, which affected the pound dollar, which so I'm going to demonstrate on the pound dollar. Um, way back here at 9:30, we had retail sales come out, but that also conflict. I say conflicted; it can conflict. It was. Uh, harmonious uh, figures that came out today in, the, in effect because they were both bad. We had the retail sales come out and the uh, Bank of England uh, Monetary uh, Policy Committee's figures uh, or minutes announced as well so we could see the voting etc. As it happened, as I say, they all were in line in terms of had bad results in terms of the retail sales so the market fell and that was helped by the fact that the minutes were suggesting weakness and it, it, it erred towards the weakness side of things as opposed to strength. So the dollar, the dollar, the pound dollar fell, um, but that then soon it didn't take too long. It stabilised itself and then was in this holding pattern, waiting for Ben Bernanke to speak. With most traders not really wanting to uh, go one way or the other, Bernanke started speaking, announced that they could actually apply more easing as and it wasn't necessarily forthcoming with tapering immediately and the markets rallied uh, or the dollar was sold off should I say so the pound rallied here um, as soon as it, is, as it continued through the meeting and through the presentations further it was realized that well actually it could <laughs> they, they'll do effectively do anything to help it so the dollar rallied again so hence the pound came off so in a very short time, we got back to this sort of mean 
uh, where we were before in the same sort of trend it's showing a little bit better we're using regression channels often um, to just the, the, the nearer peak here you just run it down to prior to the news back to the lows earlier and you just see we're just sort of running and it, it spikes up to the upper channel of the regression and then spikes right back down to the bottom and then it's heading back perhaps for the mean in fact if you take this one off and we pop in a, a longer term regression channel you can see just see how although this news a lot of people say news is just pure noise to the markets and to a degree it is but of course it's tradable noise and particularly if you're a day trader uh, it's an important noise because we we, we need the noise to actually um, get our moves and if you just run this back to uh, prior to the news which was um, came out today so that's that was the prior lows here. You just see it just money, money. The the pound had just run back to its mean. In fact, at the peak at the peak of that rally, it just ran back to its 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 mean here. So the the it looks like very much like it's continued to the downside at the moment. Maybe a bit of support off the lows here, and we could get a bounce back to the aggression mean at some point. Maybe a little bit over oversold here, but it's. Uh, Certainly in a good down, I say good but downward trend, but it's in a trend and it's a good trend. Um, subject to your thoughts on the pound, uh, euro. I, I just popped one on here from the four hourly point of view. We'd been making this sort of ball, uh, sorry, bear flag, and the news it spiked it up to the daily five, uh, daily 50 moving average, and just went, just right hit the daily 50 moving average and sold off from there. So technically, you know, a lot of technical traders say, well, yeah, it's hit the daily 50. So that's why it's uh, hit there and turned around. Well, whatever. It did hit the daily 50, and it has reacted to that. And it's moved back into, as I say, moving back into trend. And it looks like we may continue to the downside here for now. Of course, it could just break out of this proper and do a, um, change this bear flag into a, a bullish movement. But we'll have to wait and see. But at the moment, it certainly looks bearish. Aussie dollar, drawn one on here already. I hope. Yep, uh, as the Aussie dollar hadn't moved at all, it's just back into trend. It's sort of trying to break out a little bit there, moved it straight back into trend. So I think you largely get the idea of what I'm, I'm pointing out here. So um, really, uh, what we're seeing here is dollar strength across the board against the yen, pound, euro. Uh, none of these currencies and Aussie dollar, none of these currencies are really fighting back with uh, sturdy economic data. So whilst that's the case, the I think we, we could see a continuation of these moves. Of course, any good results out from any of these countries, uh, we could say quite, see a quite nice snapback rallies. Uh, but for now, we've got to just uh, uh, go with the trend. So uh, finally, for those that are considering trading news reactions, you need to, as I say, take into account the outcome. More importantly, the detail behind the numbers. So uh, the professionals will be sitting there, will look at, be looking at what he's saying. They'll be trying to get hold of copies of his statement if they can. Uh, as you saw today, they, they, they literally resorted back to the mean shortly afterwards. Um, as soon as the, the, the professionals realize there's not anything cha changing, um, you, they probably jumped on the bandwagon and sold off as well and just hence why we saw the, the the corrections there okay that's it for me hope you have a great week uh kevin or charlie will be back on thursday uh, friday even um have a good one bye for now